Hey guys, it's Jeremy Murray, and today I want to be showing you how to create some cool color palettes in Illustrator and showing the best ways and sites that you can use to build some cool colors. So first up, I love going to Unsplash and just finding images. So you can see here, I just typed in vintage and you can see I, I've picked some few pictures here. You know, I'm just looking for nice colors. You can see some old school colors, very non-saturated, very, very subtle, um, very pastel as well. Pretty much neutral colors. And I would go in here, copy a photo, bring it into Illustrator and start picking out colors. Like even this one would be good as well. It's got some nice blues, some reds in there, which is actually nice. I might download that one. You can even type in, you know, whatever you want. You can type in color as well and pick some colors from here. And what I'll do, I'll go into Illustrator. Uh, I'll just lock this. And what I'll do is I'll clear my swatches panel. So I'm going to go to my swatches panel, click the drop down menu and go select all unused. And what I'll do is just bin that. Get rid of it and then i'm going to get my eyedropper tool so if you press i or on the left hand side you can see it here you got your eyedropper tool so what i will do is create first a circle or just a rectangle and i'll make a few of them and i'll build a palette so i'll just make this image a bit smaller and what i'll do is i'll get my eyedropper tool select the object i want select the eyedropper and then start picking out colors from this artwork. So you can see there we've got some yellows. And I'll just quickly, you know, select some colors there. We can build some palettes. You know, we've got some, if you want some nice brown tones, just by selecting the wood there. This is a quick way just to build some nice palettes. So I'll zoom in there and you can select, you can see the pixels there. So whatever you select is gonna be nice. So just already we've just made some quick palettes and what I'll do, I'll select the palette I want, go to my swatches panel and click the folder button here on the bottom right. And I'm gonna select artwork and go convert process to global and include swatches for tints. And then I'll call it vintage, okay? And you can see now we've got global colors there. We can double click, we can go to our color, we can edit the colors. Um, I can go to my color guide as well and start looking through these too. So that's one way I do to build some color palettes. Some other cool sites I use as well as low colors. So you can see here, you can put your mouse over the colors and just copy the hex code. So I can then go into here, double click on my swatch panel. On the fill, press Control V, and it's gonna copy that color. And now I have this new color. And what I can do, I can just add it in like that. Boom. And now we've just got this color that we can edit and do whatever we want. Another cool trick as well is just what you do, you just screenshot this. I use a program called um, Push. So I can just select my screen. If you're on a Mac, you can do it too. I'll just copy that and then put it into Illustrator for a quick way to do it. So it's got awesome colors here, I love it. Color Hunt is awesome too as well. It's got a lot of bright colors, a lot of cool palettes. And you can even submit your email as well. They'll send you some stuff out. And you can search popular. So I love going to these sites. Quick and easy to find palettes. You know, don't have to spend too much time doing it. They've already got nicely designed ones for you that you can just use. Another cool site is colors.co as well. The thing I like about this as well, you can just export a color palette really quickly. So you can go export there. You can save as a PDF, a quick PNG. So if I click PNG, I can just go and then copy this image. Then boom, just bring it to here. And then once again, build out my palettes. And then I'll save this, these colors into a group. So that one's pretty awesome as well. It's very similar to Adobe Color. I love Adobe Color. I still, I don't use it as much as any, anymore, but you can still see it's got awesome custom things that you can make. You can even go in there and edit the colors as well. So if you click edit, you can actually move around the color wheel or even edit the CMYK or the RGB of it. And then you can go and just save that into your library. And if we go back to Illustrator, you can see I've already saved a few here. I've got my libraries panel. So you can go to window and libraries so open that up and you can see it just loaded there, which is pretty cool. And then I can go in and just left click on these colors here. 
like that. You can see we've already got a nice palette. Awesome. So that's why Adobe Color is cool because it syncs with all your programs, even Photoshop as well, um, Adobe Bridge and Illustrator. So it's really handy. And I love using that as well. You can also like share your links and collaborate with other people as well. And also you can rename your library too, which is pretty handy. Another one is um, colorfully.nofash.com. I don't know, I just found this one, it's pretty handy. You can press space bar and it gives you some nice colors. And then I guess you can see the last ones you've you've made it there, which is pretty cool. I think that's kind of fun. And another good one I like to use is UI gradients. So if you're doing like some UI work or you know, so you're playing with gradients or something really cool, you can just click on these. And if you just click at the top, the hex code, it'll copy it. And then I'll just grab this. And then you can see there, as I copy that, the new colors are getting copied. Copy paste like that. So you can see we get that nice gradient. So then I'll go to my gradient panel and just use these colors. Drag that in. You can see we can use that nice color for whatever design we want. So you can press shift and then it opens up a whole list of colors, which is really good. And they're all really nice gradients. So yeah, those are some of the ways that I create colors within my illustrator illustrations and my vector designs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you liked the video.